time to wake up now, New Mexico. You need Jesus Christ more than any other state. All Let's states do. of the United States need Jesus Christ, whether they like to believe it or not. Bless you guys. You need to know that eternity I love you, wants a real relationship with you. To Jesus. Is approaching. People die every day. It's not because you're getting sick. It's because people die of their sins. But Jesus Christ loves you so much that he died on the cross for you. That he paid the price on that cross for you because he loves you. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That everlasting life, that eternal life. Be having the ability after this life to live forever but in Christ Jesus, hallelujah. And I have some scriptures. You better have that word in your heart, brother. Let it rip, Alex. Let it rip, Alex. Man. Another scripture. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, oh, but the yeah. gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. That wages, those wages of sin is death. When you die without Christ, you're going to have to pay those wages. I don't want that for any of you. Do you hear me? I don't want that for any of you. I want you to know that you can get saved today. You can be forgiven. You can be redeemed. You don't have to die in your sins. You don't have to go to hell. You can go to heaven. You can have that free gift of salvation today. Trust in the Lord your God. He loves you so much that He was willing to Actually, can, you, can you record it real quick? You hold it? I'll you do it because it has to be done. And the last thing, the last thing that Jesus Christ said before He died on the cross was, It is finished. And He meant it. He is the ultimate sacrifice. He is the Lamb who was slain for you and I, for all of us. No one has to die without Jesus Christ. There is a God who loves you so much, people. Why do you reject Him so much? Why do you want to continue living in your own corrupted ways? Is it because you can't trust God enough? Well, you can trust Him. He will never let you down. When you trust yourself, He will only let yourself down. But when you trust in God, He will never fail you. He will never abandon you nor forsake you. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, yes! and forever. Yes! Hallelujah! You can't deny Him anymore. That's right, brother. Those That's who right. believe are not condemned because there is no condemnation in Christ. But those who do not believe are already condemned. You must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ if you want to make it into heaven. But you must be born again. This is spiritually speaking, having a transformed life in Christ. A new lifestyle according to Christ. Living according to Him and not according to your own corrupted ways. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall we also reap. We reap what we sow, we sow what we reap, vice versa. So we gotta be careful. If we reap sin, we sow destruction. And the flesh leads to destruction, the spirit leads to life. We need to have the Holy Spirit be filled with the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. And we're here preaching because we're on a mission, preaching in nine different states. This is one of them. And tomorrow, we are heading to Oklahoma City, and after that, Houston, Texas, also New Orleans, Memphis, Tennessee, Denver, Colorado, and finally Las Vegas. These places, I believe, need to be reached. That at least one soul gets saved. At least one soul gets saved. God bless saved. you, brother. No one has to die without Jesus tonight. You don't have to. Have Jesus Christ in your life today. Have Him in your heart so you don't perish, but have everlasting life. And in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, it makes clear that the Lord is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And it's made clear right there in that scripture. And I got more.
where I can read and then, um, you know, but, um, I can share with you all. Now, I read this recently. Second Chronicles, chapter 19. And Jeho, and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, returned to his house in peace to Jerusalem. And he was a king, by the way. And Jehu, the son of Hanani, the seer, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? Therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord? Nevertheless, there are good things found in thee, in that thou hast taken away the groves of the land, and hast prepared thine heart to seek God. And Jehoshaphat dwelt at Jerusalem, and he went out again through the people from Beersheba to Mount Ephraim, and brought them back unto the Lord God of their fathers. And he set judges in the land throughout all the fenced cities of Judah, city by city, and said to the judges, Take heed what ye do, for ye judge not for man, but for the Lord, who is with you in the judgments. What's up, brother? Wherefore, how you doing, now brother? Let the fear of the Lord God. be upon you. Take heed and do it. For <laughs> there on, is no iniquity with the Lord. Pray for you, brother. Our God. No Any prayer? Any prayer, person, brother? No Anything specific? Take your mask off, brother. It's okay. I want to leave the hood. Of the Levites. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way, brother. Yes. We're here for you, That's brother. Yes. Yes. He's calling you, bro. Jesus, Jesus is calling you, brother. Feel the presence of God here. Don't agree. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Shall you be glorified in the fear of the Lord faithfully? And with a perfect heart, the Lord, I know. and what time like, soever shall come, they say that you. he judges back on people. Shall come to you. The Bible says this: If you confess your sins before God, God is faithful, just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all all unrighteousness, bro. God is not just waiting to destroy the wicked. He says he did not take pleasure in the destruction of the wicked. He would rather uh, 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 them repent so that he could restore them, bro. He's slow to anger, not wanting none to perish. He wants you to come to him. He loves you, bro. He loves you. First of all, we were sinners. Now we were good, bro. He loves you, man. He wants you to start over wide, bro. Why do you want to go over there? Because they look like people that have probably been through stuff. Yes. That's right, man. All of this things. Yes, all the nonsense, bro. We are blinded by the devil, brother. So Jesus he takes, our, he away. takes our best and makes it into a message, man. You know what I mean? It's, what's your name? Martin. Huh? Martin. 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 Uh, How can we pray for you? I want to stop the, being dependent on alcohol. I want, I want my, I want my kid back. Oh, my God. You're in a lot of pain. That's right. You're in a lot of pain right now. He's in a lot of pain, bro. You're in a lot of pain. I think that's the second time today I heard that the father was like, wants his kids back. And if you really want your kids back, you're going to stop drinking. I remember I used to get on the bus and go to church. Yeah. I remember I used to walk to the church. I remember being baptized. Yeah. Now you got to, so you know the way now. You know, you know the, way. the way, right? I haven't, I haven't got, whether you like to admit it or not. I haven't got, um, don't die tonight. Don't die tomorrow. Yeah, baptized. Baptized. Yeah. Yes. I don't know, after my mom died, I fucking... I lost control of everything. Oh, it's a backslid, but it's okay because Jesus forgives. 
you have strength in you. I hear you, man. His blood. He's with us all the way, man. He's with us all the way, He's with us all the way, Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you, Father, Lord. Yes, thank you, God, for our brother, Lord, my God. We thank you, my God, you have an open arms, my God. Thank you, Father, God, for the love that you have for us, Father, God. Your word says, my God, if we confess us, we are forgiven, my God. You're faithful just to forgive us, Lord. I pray, Father, God, you would just heal, my God. Men that are broken, this, my God, he carries, my God. Men that are hurt, my God. Everything right now, again, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray that he would run, my God. But he would run to you, Father, God. And he would just allow your love to fill him up right now in Jesus' name, Father, God. I pray, Lord, you take away, my God, any pain, Father God. The rid of alcoholism, we rebuke you right now in Jesus' name. I just pray, Father God, Lord, that you would be solid, my God, that you be rooted in Christ, Father God, that you would know who you are, Father God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Rebuke any confusion, any lies, any traps of the enemy, any lies that he's not a child, any lies that God says that he doesn't love him. Lord, you know, we know your perfect love that you said for us, my God. All of us, Lord, my God, we find grace, Lord. I pray that my brother Martin, my God, will find grace for God, Lord. You Say, I renounce alcohol and renounce everything that's brought destruction to your life, bro. Okay? I don't want any new authority. Say it with authority, bro. I'm going to start so throwing down have. alcohol. I'm going to whip yeah, off. Because I, I could do it because I it's want that. Bad. Completely, bro. Completely. No, no middle ground. Say, I, I renounce it's alcoholism it's in the name of Jesus. Alcoholism in the name of Jesus. I renounce get the gang life in the name of Jesus. I regret the gang life. I renounce it in Jesus' name. I renounce the gang life in Jesus' name. It's it. It's a torment. Say it, bro. It's come from you. You have to watch. It has to come from me, bro. Why reject the loving God? You can do it. You can do it. You can do it for you. Do it for you. Do it for your kids, man. Do it for your kids. Do it for your son, brother. Kids are hurting. You renounce gang life in the name of Jesus. Yes, in Jesus' name. Yes. Read the word, brother. Seek him in his word. Okay. 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 We could also go on a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Maybe you can ask me questions, you know? Maybe Thank I can ask you questions like, how many times have you lied? Thank you, Jesus. When have you fornicated? Jesus is the way. Did you use God's way Jesus. as a password? Jesus. Did you use his name in vain? Those are questions I can ask. Do you acknowledge God's existence? Okay, I see existe. Ya es real. Y el Señor Jesucristo viene muy pronto. Ya te quiere mucho. Él es el sacrificio. He is the ultimate sacrifice. And he died on that cross so that you can be forgiven and that you don't have to go to hell. But that you can be washed by his precious blood to be as white as snow without spot without blemish. He is coming to take the church home. And that is what I want you to know, New Mexico. That's what I want you to know. Esa es la cosa que quiero que ustedes puedan entender, to understand. Pero Dios viene muy pronto. No perezcan. Y también, te quiero mucho a ustedes que viven en Nueva México, New Mexico, I love you so much. I don't want you to go to hell, but that you may be with Jesus Christ forever. God bless you guys and love you all. Hallelujah and God bless you guys. Hallelujah.
Go on, for it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can we put on our... God bless you guys in Jesus mighty name. New Mexico is definitely a place that needs Jesus Christ. Nueva Mexico necesita salvación porque este mundo va a terminar. This world's going to end. Y el Señor Jesucristo viene muy pronto. Yo no quiero que ustedes perezcan. I don't want any of you to perish, but to have everlasting life. Hallelujah and amen, you know. I love you guys so much, you know? I want you to know that Jesus Christ loves you and He will never fail you. He loves you so much that He wants you to be with Him for all eternity. To have eternal life. Hallelujah. So, um, yeah, guys. So, um, yeah. So, New Mexico is going all right so far. Next stop will be Oklahoma City. So, after New Mexico, Oklahoma City. Then will be Houston, Texas. And then other places would be New Lo excuse me, New Orleans, Louisiana. And um, let me see what else, what else? Oh yeah. Tennessee. And also Atlanta, Georgia. Oh yeah, the Me oh yeah, Memphis, Tennessee, that's right. And also um, Denver, Colorado. And the last stop we're going to stop at is Las Vegas, which is a wicked place, of course. But um, God bless you guys and um, continue to serve the Lord God Almighty. That we continue to humble ourselves before the Lord. And that we stay close to Jesus more than ever and be firm in the faith. And be grounded and rooted in His love. So God bless you guys. In the name of Jesus Christ, stay faithful and endure to the end, guys. God bless.